what's up guys welcome back to bolts garage and in today's video we're installing a little modification for the exhaust and as always we're in the hot steaming garage 96 degrees hotter than hell over here but what we're gonna do is a quick easy mod to help be able to better control the valves on the m5 so currently what I have done to ensure that the valves stay open all the time is a little ghetto, but a lot of people on the forums have been doing it. Basically what you do is you have your exhaust valve right up here. And as you can see, I used a hose clamp, metal hose clamp. See if I can record this for you guys. There we go. So you can see the metal holes clamp, and what that does is basically keeps the valves in the open position 24/7. If you look in there, you could see that the valve is open full time. So what this is going to allow us to do is to be able to control the valves with this fancy, actually very fancy, Valvetronic Designs Remote. So, should be a pretty straightforward install. Let's go ahead and install it. All right guys, so basically from what I've seen online is there is a, basically the valve control vacuum solenoid is behind this panel here which I'm going to try and access if this permits okay. well, let's see what else we're gonna have to take apart here to get access to this hopefully not too many things there's one tab on top here Gave me a little bit of wiggle room here. Basically, I'm just trying to snake this through here. Best as I can. Without having to remove the entire thing. And luckily, there's our solenoid right there. So, let me get a flashlight. Alright, so as you can see there, that is the original solenoid here that controls that controls the controls of the valve. So what I'm gonna do is unplug this with one hand, which is always easy. Not really, never easy. So I'm gonna put you down while I unplug that. All right, so I basically unplugged the original piece, right? You unplug it. Then I'm going to connect the adapter right into that, right into that plug. I lost you guys. All right, let's do this. Connect this baby. Okay, make sure it's connected. And then the other piece that we unplugged, we are gonna connect it to the other end, like so. Let me see which way it goes. Yep, this way with the tab. Sorry, doing this in one hand is not the best. 
but that's it. And then we have a ground, which we just need to connect to. And there is your tail lights bolts here, which would be a good ground. That is most likely what I'm gonna use because that's where it's gonna reach to the easiest. So let me just connect this to the grounds here. All right, guys, let me show you what's done here. So I connected the adapter into that plug. The plug connects into the original. I grounded it right there. And two minutes and you're done with the install. Easy. So now the only thing that I'm gonna do is go underneath the car and remove those clamps that hold the valves open and we'll fire it up and test it out if they actually work. Just like that, our clamp is off. Let's do the other side. All right, so moment of truth. I am gonna fire up the car, and I believe when you fire the car up, the valves open for that louder, you know, opening roar. So we'll see if that happens, and then once we get it warmed up, we'll see which switch controls what. have to mess with anything and now for the future when we decide to do modifications we'll be able to control the exhaust opening and closing for us love it absolutely love it I'm going to just check and make sure there's like an automatic mode so, you know, because usually when you put it into Sport Plus, it will open the valves. And then when you're in like Eco or Sport, the valves will be closed and they'll open at certain RPMs. So I just want to make sure that is still retained. And then, yeah, simple as that, guys. If you want to check this out, Valvetronic design, easy install. I think it's definitely worth the price for the future mods that we got planned to be able to control the volume back in the car because I just while I was editing the video I actually saw something real cool that I'm gonna actually try out and see if I can make it work but basically this thing is heavy and big I mean and yes you could kind of leave it there I guess the whole time but I don't like this being open because it doesn't look clean and my OCD just won't let that happen so unless if I you know figure out a way to mount this somewhere or yada yada this is not necessarily 
convenient to be carrying the whole time around. But I saw that this could be programmed and tapped into the mirror. So like that you have the home link to open your garage, you could possibly use this to program it. So I am going to try and do that. All right, so let's give this a try. Let me power on the car. I'm going to press and hold the last button because I want that to be the valve controller. So I'm going to press and hold it for about 20 seconds until it flashes and that should just reset that specific controller. Still nothing. Maybe I didn't press it the first time. What the crap, Ola? Okay, so it should be reset, I believe. Okay, so then we are going to press and hold again. So I could learn this. Come on, did you learn it? Why is this gotta be difficult, bro? Alright guys, after a few failed attempts, I was able to program my remote. Let me turn the light on. I was able to program the remote to the rearview mirror. Let's see if you could hear it. The car's off, but you should be able to hear the valves open and close. Let's see. I don't know if you heard that. Boom! Done, done, done. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. So that way I don't necessarily need to have this remote on me the whole time. So stoked about that.